Yeah. Okay. One of the topics uh, I'd like to uh, demonstrate a short demo. This... Lovely. So Greg has something for us. This time is about me, not this machine. Mm -hmm. Another one, the one with the uh, with the Mimikatz, uh, your server within your environment, oh. not mine. Ah, oh, okay. This is for another demonstration. Yes, this is the one. Here we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I will launch CMD. Uh, and the first I will do, because I want to hack to uh, SQL Server and then misuse SQL Server having uh, use unusual privileges over privileged account. So we have a lot of uh, dictionary attack tools for SQL Server, but those tools can be spotted by antivirus, can be blocked by whitelisting and so on. So I can do my own uh, brute force attack on the SQL Server. So I can do copy con my dictionary.txt and do some SA as a password for SA, more common than you think. Password, password, something else, and then uh, save the fi file. Now I can try to do four slash F uh, percent I to iterate through the uh, file I freshly created, uh, my dict.txt and then try to issue this uh, set of passwords against my SQL server using command line of sql.exe minus uh, user sa and minus password percent i. Right, on fire. <laughs> uh, I did something wrong, of course, which is perfectly normal. This type, I mm -hmm. yeah. this one, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then it, do. Well, sorry. sorry, it's too quick. The syntax here I have. And the command, the magical command for doing the bad thing is XP CMD shell. And again, with type, without typos works CMD better. Yeah. Yep. yep. And if, if I it's do, turned on, right? Uh, if it's turned off, you can turn it on. You can always turn it on. Yep. Exactly. If you've got an SA account. It's yeah. show advanced option and XP CMD shell set of to course. one and it's yeah. running. So yes. turn, having it turned off actually slows you down a couple of seconds and that's the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Net. But then requires the SA account. Mm -hmm. Hack one, add, go, and uh, it's not matching password complexity, so I have to add some password. Mm -hmm. Go, and now I can see command completed successfully. If I go exit, I have rest of my script running, but I have new user on this machine. And yes. I can connect to SQL Server remotely very easily, and uh, having an access to SA account, I can easily. Uh, intercept the, the, the machine and take control over the machine. So it's a part of the infrastructure you have in your environment because SQL Server is pretty everywhere. And if you do not understand how it's working, how it's authenticating your users, how to sec safely maintain your uh, SQL Server, you can do a lot of uh, bad things with, with this. Okay, here's the question, server. Greg. Uh, so, so we've got a SQL Server SA account, yeah? Yep. So, uh, Sometimes, in general, when we are doing pen tests, we see that uh, it might be maintained. Yes, the password might be maintained. But sh sh if you could share what's our experience in general. Uh, I saw absolutely too many uh, very simple SA passwords. One of these lists I provided, like uppercase SA, lowercase SA is password, or sometimes it's even empty. Uh, so uh, it's very common because if someone installs SQL Server not knowing what is the purpose of SA account, is trying to issue something easy to remember as a password. Actually, the best practice, and but it's not always possible, is to do not use SQL Server authentication at all. But the bad thing in terms of security of SQL Server authentication is it always works. So it's better to have it just in case if integrated authentication is not working, we can always switch to SQL Server authentication and go on. Another thing which is very commonly misused is to using SA account for everything. Mm -hmm. That is like using, like working all the time on administrator account. Yeah, I know it's very convenient and well. you can feel mm -hmm. proud of being administrator, but at the same time, it's a bit too risky. Okay, good, good. So uh, one thing I think it's important to mention as well is that if someone is like installing SQL, this person might not be working here anymore. And the question is, who is managing the password for that? For a site. And for sure, even if you have this password like crazy complex, it is probably not changed for years. Yeah. This is absolutely common thing. That's another, that's another 